Claire. I'm here today at the Fat Quarter Shop to show you a little bit about my favourite technique, which is drawing with your sewing machine. You might not realise how much fun and how easy it is to do. You're just going to have to be brave. People are a bit daunted about it, but it's very easy to get yourself some scrap wadding, some batting, an old piece of calico, muslin, whatever you've got, um, nice new needle and uh, some polyester thread because it doesn't snap as much. You don't want to be using your best piece in cotton for this. Um, and just have a really good play. So I'm going to finish writing the next word here and see if you can read it. So you're just going to guide it round with your fingers, just very gently guiding it round. You're moving the fabric all the time. Let's see if I can spell this word properly. So anything you want to write or draw, you can do with your machine. Set it up for free motion quilting. Drop the feed dogs. There we go. Janet Clare and Fat Quarters. Here you go. So you have really good fun. So guide it around with your fingers. The feed dogs are down. You can draw and write anything you like. So I'm going to draw you a little house now. Um, it's a great thing to do for all your quilt labels. When you've finished your quilting, just get yourself a piece of fabric and make your label. Write it there while you're here. The machine's all set up. Take your time. Just guide it with your fingers. Don't press down. Do a little English cottage. And do some windows. We go just up the door now. Have a little tree in the garden. A little tree in the garden. So this is the technique I use in lots of my book. I combine this free motion stitching with a fusible applique. So there's lots of the techniques in the books that I use and I've got some finished samples here on the table that I can show you. So this is using the fusible applique. This is the logo from my website, Janet Clare. Um, some little cottages that I drew just with thread on some scrap fabric. A little girl walking her dog. Here, this is an old piece of blanket, so that was really beautiful to stitch on. And some fun little runner ducks just running along on a pieced background. And here's a quilt label that you can make. So it's really, really good, fun, versatile technique. It won't take you long to practice or learn. You just need to really be brave and have a go.